Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Is Prince George's County MD safe? The D grade means the rate of crime is higher than the average U.S. county. Prince George's County is in the 20th percentile for safety, meaning 80% of counties are safer and 20% of counties are more dangerous. Take our lead. Located in the heart of the Baltimore-Washington Corridor, the county borders Washington, D.C. and is just 37 miles south of the city of Baltimore. Encompassing almost 500 square miles, Prince George's County has an urban atmosphere that still manages to provide a scenic and peaceful place to live, work, and play. Take our lead. Dress code and uniform expectations during the hybrid model of instruction, students are not expected to wear a school uniform. Students must adhere to the system-wide dress code which requires students to dress appropriately. Further details can be found in the Student Rights and Responsibilities Handbook. Take our lead. The chance of becoming a victim of either violent or property crime in Capitol Heights is 1 in 56. Based on FBI crime data, Capitol Heights is not one of the safest communities in America. Relative to Maryland, Capitol Heights has a crime rate that is higher than 65% of the state's cities and towns of all sizes. Let's help you make your mark. The rate of crime in Prince George's County is 50.06 per 1,000 residents during a standard year. People who live in Prince George's County generally consider the southeast part of the county to be the safest. Take our lead. So far this year, there have been 16 homicides in Montgomery County. During 2020, there were 19 and in 2019 there were 15, according to Montgomery County Police Department records. On average, the department records 18 homicides a year, based on the 10-year trend. It notes in the department's 2020 annual report. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.